that's just vlogging for his YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay, uh, so our neighbors in our hotel are weird. How much gear, how much gear did you guys bring? Uh, this is light packing, sir. Okay, all right. Our bodies for days. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself to the peeps? Hello, I'm Marcus. Marcus? Hi, I'm Sean. Oh, hi, Sean. Awesome, and you guys know we're hiking up a mountain, right? No, but we can try. <laughs> uh, we'll sort this out later. Looking, Ryan. It's looking pretty good. We had it set up last night. We're doing astrophotography stuff, taking shots of the Milky Way. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you guys probably just saw a little bit of that. It was cold and windy, but definitely worth the trouble. We spent a good hour just sitting on those rocks over there, staring at the sky. Oh yeah. It was really nice. Just resetting it and everything. We got it lined up last night. Uh, so if we leave it in the same spot, it should be pretty well. Should track well. Pretty well, packed, yeah. well, we're about. And now we're out from C1. Just to walk you th guys through it, maybe you don't know. Grab the telescope. Absolutely. Yeah, C1 is the first contact of the, uh, the silhouette of the moon on the, on the sun. C2 is the beginning of uh, totality. And that lasts through C3, which is where you start to see the moon move away. C4 is the last part that it touches the sun. So we'll capture all of that and hope you guys enjoy. Be back in a few. What's going on, Marcus? Well, I'm just getting this guy prepped here for uh, probably.
probably in the next hour is gonna start what C1. Yep, C1 is about an hour away. T tell us about this rig. What on earth does this thing do? Oh boy. Okay. Well, basically this is a monoscopic 360. Uh, let's see rig. Now it's all set up to do time lapses, and we're kind of using a whole bunch of cannons, so we can get about an 8K image off each. Those are the high res cannons. Yeah, the live DSRs. Nice. Very cool. So. Uh, I guess you'll post this thing uh, sometime after the eclipse here, right? Yes, I hope so. Cool. I'll, I'll have that link in the description as soon as it's up. Can't wait to see it. Cool, man. Well, let's, uh, let's see what this baby can do. Awesome. Alright, it's starting the first time lapse. We're only 10 minutes out. Alright, just started that one. Ryan's getting focused and aligned up here. So Ryan's got this awesome uh, temperature gauge on the side of his telescope. Degrees the temperature, and right now we're at about 20 degrees C, which is at least two degrees colder than it was uh, when we started the eclipse. So we're definitely feeling some temperature changes. All right, we've got Mike here with his crazy goggles. See ya. Very nice. <laughs> so we've just noticed, we're sitting here and it's getting colder and darker, and there's something a little strange about the color. It's almost like a mild sepia tone. It's probably not going to pick up on camera, but we're definitely feeling it. Uh, we're about five minutes away from totality, and we're right reading uh, just about 16, 16 degrees C. That's a total of six degrees difference from when we started. We can see the light shifting drastically. But, oh, it's happening. Alright guys, I apologize if the camera is shaky and not pointing at anything interesting. I am looking at it through my binoculars. And I can see the peaks and valleys of the moon. And it's gone. It's totally gone. Wow, I got goosebumps. 360 degree sunset, looks amazing. I hope you guys are somewhere in the world where you can see this, it is amazing. What do you think, Ryan? Get the corona. And you're back in time lapse mode. We're getting bright. Sun's coming back out. Wow, that was amazing. What do you think? I don't know if that'll convey on video, but. I hope we got to show you something really cool today. Definitely. I mean, it was a magical moment. You know, goosebumps all around. So, well, enjoy the footage. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.